options are heating up in Vermont schools with more school leaders choosing to use it in their buildings. In 2017, we told you 60 schools were using wood heat and that number has gone up. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney is live in studio with an update on wood pellets. Alexandra and Alyssa, 75 school systems in Vermont use wood heat to stay warm. I checked in with People's Academy, which made the switch back to wood in 2016. People's Academy in Morrisville used wood heat from the early 1980s until 2014 when they paused to upgrade their system. During the hiatus, they used oil. I think it was about 30,000 gallons a year for the two years that we were not running. They switched back to wood in 2016. Brian Rafferty, the district director of facilities, says now they barely tap into their oil supply. He says they burn around 225 tons of pellets a year. Even in the past year, you know, just a small amount of uh, cost difference in our oil, the buildings that we do use it in, is a large amount of money for our budget. Um, with the pellets, it's pretty much the same every year, you know, a few dollars difference. So the, the stability is nice. Both the middle and high schools in the district use wood pellets, but neither elementary schools do. The cost of that infrastructure and the payoff time after that, so smaller systems at each building is, is definitely better. At PA, Rafferty says the district spent around half a million dollars for their switch, which also included getting rid of old boilers, cleaning, and a new silo. Paul Frederick with Vermont's DEC says a hurdle for many schools to convert to wood is the cost slowing down the conversion process statewide. But he says there's an increase in state and federal programs and grants to help the schools offset the cost. They've been able to um, look at wood heat as an alternative to using fossil fuels and, and a potential answer to, to some of our, our questions regarding uh, you know, climate change. Frederick says wood heat isn't necessarily carbon neutral, but better than burning fossil fuels. And he says it impacts the forest economy. What we've seen over time is that 78 cents on the dollar uh, of every dollar spent on fossil fuel goes out of state. Um, whereas with wood fuel, more like 80% of, of that dollar stays in the state and gets recirculated in the economy. Since 2017, 15 more schools statewide have made the switch. Now a third of students in the state go to school with wood heat. And Frederick says 10% of wood fuel being burned statewide comes from schools and institutions. He says his department is working with a handful of smaller schools to make the transition or to make upgrades to their systems, like Craftsbury Elementary, Hardwick Elementary, Newbury Elementary, and Mount Anthony Union High School. Live in the studio, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.